Well, see, I'm using a BlackBerry. My pictures are terrible. Yeah, I don't know. She's good with it. Oh, boy. And so you might have no ability. <laughs> I might have absolutely no talent yeah. in this area. Yeah. Anyway, I, I just seem to be in some sort of heat with all this technology and the pictures. And I... Well, it would be nice to be, you know, what is it? There are some people who seem to be so literate in this area. John Hine. That everything just comes and they got everything working for them. Yeah. It drives me crazy. I don't know how they have the time for it. I was talking to John Hine. He goes, oh, yeah, I got to go to Bar Mitzvah. I have plenty of time to mess around with my phone. He just got an iPhone. And I go. So that's what he must do. He must go places and just sit on his yeah, phone. Yeah, places where he doesn't want to be, and he sits on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. I got to do that. My problem is I get with this technology alone, and I go, I don't know what I'm looking at. I got to get someone to help me. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I was very, very busy with that iPad, and then the iMac, and then the uh, iPhone, and, and the photography. I just, I'm busy. I'm busy all the fucking time. You can't even find me. Yesterday I was looking in the paper in one of the little inserts, either the uh, U.S. Today or, or, or yeah. whatever it was, one of those parade magazines. They, were, they had a whole list of apps that could make your life easier. No, and they don't. Like, what? They don't make your life easier. What happens is <laughs> I get lost and I get sucked into it. You should learn one app a year. I'm, I'm convinced of it. Uh, I found a camera app now. I'm using that. And it's a whole thing, and yeah. I, I can't even figure out how to get the pictures into the, into the, into the, in, into the gallery. I did, don't ask. Uh, it's, it's just everything. Everything just slows you down. Apps are made for morons, and I am <laughs> stupider than a moron because it takes me forever to figure everything out. Oh no! See, I'm sitting yeah. there going, I got to get one of these phones that I can get apps on. I it, I was on the phone with Jeff Schick last night. He was asking me how things were going. I was like, everything's great. And then all of a sudden, two seconds later, I realized all my pictures aren't duplicating. It. <laughs> and then I tried to find him again, and I couldn't. I couldn't get back with him. I started writing him emails. Yeah. I, I need him 24 hours a day. Well, that's need... another thing that's happening to mm. me. Emails are disappearing nah. that I need. You're fine. You know what? You don't need those emails. I do. I need to answer them. No, you, you don't. You get away <laughs> with that. I don't. <laughs> Uh, that's another thing with the email. I'm too involved with it. I know some people don't check their email for days. I'm on it every 10 minutes. Well, I'm not every 10 minutes, but I do check it rather frequently. Yeah. And um, I, there was this one that, you know, sometimes people write these really long emails. Oh, that's and a, at the throw it out. time that I'm reading the email, I don't have time to read all the way through it. Right. So I close it so I can come back later, and then sometimes I can't ever find them again. Mark it as unread. Yeah. That's your answer. Then you'll, be, you'll have a dot next to it. Now you are another step. No, that's easy. <laughs> I'll teach you how to do that. That that I can do. I know how to do that, but yeah. I just why doesn't it just stay there? It does. It stays there, but it's not marked, so you don't find it. But you, I then go do a search, and I I guess I can't remember how these people. Right. Right. What Me their too. email address is. Yeah. Uh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? I felt so bad because this one particular person showed me this poignant email and it seems like I just totally ignored it. Yeah, well, you know what? It's not your problem because who can keep track of all this shit? You're the worst, though. You send out these personal emails. Hey, it's me, and I and you open, and it's your charity chain email stuff. Everyone complains to me about it privately. Oh my god! People are totally fed up with you. Uh, here we hey, go. Hey, it's me, okay. or, or like Robin. I need, I need to tell you about something. So I go, oh, Robin rarely writes me. I, uh, let me see what this is. What did I laugh at those? No. They come to me too. Well, that ain't cool. I'm like, what am I saying to myself? People don't like it because they feel tricked. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> I saw a cool movie that's coming out. I really liked it. I wonder, I wonder what, what the it? reviews are going to be because I really like this movie. And um, why do you think? I think like you're maybe out I, of step or something. I think it's like funny in the way Ghostbusters was funny and uh, just really uh, clever. Uh huh. It's called Your Highness. And it's, I've seen the previews. I saw the previews, too, and I wasn't interested in it, but I, I saw it anyway. It's with um, Natalie Portman. She's in every movie now. Yeah, and I like it, because she's <laughs> in a thong in one scene, in her ass. Oh, yeah? I think it's her, unless he's a body double, and I mean, I never know. But well, she had just worked out for Black Swan. She's probably using, taking advantage yeah. of 
you know. She looked good. James Franco and this guy who steals the movie, he's a dark-haired guy with a beard. I don't know his name. He's in Eastbound and Down. Danny McBride. Is Danny, that his name? He's funny. Danny McBride. He's a really funny guy, Howard. How do you know him? He was in Eastbound and Down. He was in uh, Tropic Thunder. He's been in, like, in a bunch of movies. Right. You probably liked him in Tropic Thunder, too. And his name is Danny McBride? Yes. He's really good. Yeah, the, show, I, the show on HBO, he does Eastbound and Down. He's like a... A uh, baseball pitcher who's retired because, you know, he's like in his yeah. 30s. And he's just a degenerate, you know, gambler. He's just fucking great. He, it's a funny show. I started watching it this season, last season, and it's really I funny. I know that show. I, yeah. I, I tried watching it. I didn't like it. It's just, but he's it, baseball has nothing to do with it. It's all about his life sort of right. off the field. Well, anyway, this movie, Your Highness, is like about, um, it's kind of like a stoner film uh -huh. in a way. James Franco's doing that now. Yeah, but he's good. He plays the... Uh, he's the new Cheech and Joe. It's one of those, like, medieval times. Before medieval times. It's like it's like when the when the world had magic. You know, one of those things right. and they have to go on quests. Because isn't Merlin in it and all that? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's like uh, magicians, evil magicians and stuff. And, you know, when they go on a quest and they have to do something. Everybody's looking for the chalice or whatever right. it is. Exactly. And, uh, you know, those movies are usually so fucking tedious, but they made it... Because they make them serious. Yeah, well, they made this half serious, half comedy, uh -huh. like Ghostbusters was, you know, rooted in some truth. Right. Or, or at least a world that made sense. This is uh, the same thing, and, uh, man, it is fucking funny. Good. Now, I, want, I bet you it's going to be one of those movies that gets, like, one star, but if I, I was reviewing it, I'd give it four stars. Like, they're always getting high, and they're always trying to fuck. And like the 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 evil magician it has to fuck a virgin. Uh -huh. That's sort of the thing. And it's called the fucking. <laughs> and uh, he That's goes, funny. it's time for the fucking. The moons are joining. <laughs> and I mean, there's dirty words which I really miss. There's nudity and there's also like drug humor. Right. So I guess it'll get an R rating. I don't know because there's a lot of dirty words, but uh, it really it's really funny. It's called Your Highness. All right. Looking forward to it. Yeah, then. I like that. Had a good time with that. The fucking. It's great. And then a lot of homosexual jokes, like uh, they have to give the hand job to this puppet. You'll see it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wizard that's like a Yoda type. <laughs> okay. They, they give him a hand job. He's gay. <laughs> Yoda's gay. And gets yeah, well, imagine like you need magic and stuff and advice, but, you know. Basically, the guy's gay and he wants sexual favors. <laughs> it's just really good. I hey, mean, you got to use what you got. I mean, I was watching it, laughing my ass off, and good. having a great time. So, Your Highness, look for that one. And, and it's like one of those movies you you see the trailer and go, I don't want to see that. It's stupid, but it's funny. I was sort of mixed about the trailer. I wasn't sure. Yeah, the trailer doesn't do it justice because yeah. I saw it too. Then I've tried to tweet this weekend. I can't get into Twitter for now. I, I'll get back to it, but I just haven't been able to get into it. Yeah, I haven't tweeted in a while. I just figured out something I want to tweet. So, People have started complaining about my tweets where they go, Hey, man, are you just going to answer stupid questions or are you going to say something funny? Uh, yeah. They seem to want something like, you know, like what Your Steve... Your original thought. Yeah, like what Steve Martin does yeah. or Sarah Silverman does, where they write witty one line in whatever, how many characters, 170 characters or whatever it is. 140. 140. Yeah, I once tweeted something that was funny, and they were like, wow, finally. Yeah, right. So I, I didn't know that there were rules. Like, I thought it there would be nice... There aren't any rules, but... For you, people have expectations, I suppose. Like Alyssa Milano seems to just retweet news stories. Mm -hmm. She doesn't seem to write anything. She's and like CNN. I don't know that anybody's complaining about her. No, and I don't think she cares. But she's like CNN. She's turning into CNN. She just... Uh, yeah, she has her issues and concerns, and yeah. she wants everybody to know. When, when Japan happened, she was very worried about it, and she started to tweet like, like headlines and yeah. things. Yeah. I love those people who really, you know, like almost lose their minds uh, right. when something happens in the world. Yeah, they're really they concerned. They become obsessed about it. Right. And I don't even care. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yesterday or the early this morning, they said there was another quake in Japan. I was like, oh, yeah, Japan had a disaster. I think she's reporting from Libya today. <laughs> she's got combat fatigues on. She, she tweets some personal stuff, like I think she's pregnant or yes, something. Yes, she but, is. Uh, but yeah, she seems mostly to retweet the news, which is fine. And then I told you, like Adrian Curry, who is the girl, the wife of the guy from the Brady Bunch, she tweets mostly 
almost semi-nude pictures of herself, mm-hmm. and that I like. That's all that's on her mind. Like, I, I find myself checking for her tweets. She never retweets an article because she doesn't read. And then sometimes, yeah. like, all of a sudden, she tweets a picture, and you go, oh, thank God, a picture. <laughs> and then it's like... She took a picture of her bowling score or something. Just, it's some kind of computer screen. I don't even know what the fuck she's writing right. about. Like, I don't follow everything that she's writing, but I'm just waiting for pictures. <laughs> There's some way to go see her whole catalog of pictures, but I don't know. I haven't figured out how to do that. I've tried, believe me. See, again, a waste yeah. of time. What? Looking at her pictures? No, it's not. Yes, it is a waste of time. No. Just, you know, get it on the fly. I hate that. When That's Facebook. Go to Facebook if you want that. No. I don't want, hey, listen, don't tell me what I want. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I just, and uh, then, like, Steve Martin's so brilliant, you know. I watched him on Letterman. He was so good. Really? Yeah, he was phenomenal. And then, uh, you know, he tweets these really witty things. And I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but not often. You know, he's just down there every once in a while. A couple times a day. He likes it. But I'm just saying, it's a couple of times a day. It's not hmm. every 20 minutes. Right. But to me, it's like sometimes I want to just say, hey, you know, we're going to be doing this on the show. And then I get yelled at because people go, well, stop trying to do a commercial. We already know. We're already fans, Howard. You Fuck wanna... you. I went, oh, I didn't realize I was doing the wrong thing. Like, Again, I'm... you think it's the wrong thing. Yeah. you got to do what you want to do. No. No, I'm not kidding. I get yelled at too much. Everything I do is wrong. I told you one woman said, "Don't you ever, don't you ever tweet anything funny? You just answer, you just answer people's questions." I, I thought that's what it was for to communicate with fans. I don't know. People ask me questions about what I'm using for computer sure. for photography. They ask me about the show. I answer their questions. Albert Brooks joined Twitter yesterday. I saw that on Ralph. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he's already uh, tweeting one-liners. <laughs> you know, he's he's got a whole package. He's probably on. got a closet full. Right. They've just been waiting for an outlet. I follow Bubba, but he mostly tweets about BTLS radio and his product. Right. It's just a, Commercial. a promotional thing for him. Yeah. And a lot of people use it that way. Maybe people are yelling at him, too. You're not looking at his comments. I don't think he cares. But he seems to just be involved with products. So I'm like, hey, good for him. You know, I mean, he's using it for what he wants to use it for. And that's what you should do. Nah. Don't let people influence you. Well, anyway, it's turned me off, so I've like kind of calmed down with it. But I'll get back into it. I know me. When I have some time, I'll start tweeting again. I'm wondering if I should say what I want to tweet now, since I didn't ever tweet it. What was it? Oh, I thought you said you did. <laughs> no, I thought of it. I was like, oh, I had to tweet. My favorite comment that I read about Elizabeth Taylor this weekend was that on some movie set, they wanted her character to pretend to make breakfast and they handed her two eggs and she looked at him and said well what do i do with these <laughs> she'd never cooked she had never cooked breakfast in her life she didn't know what to do with eggs when they were in the shell you are kidding no me. i'm not kidding i said that is the best what a fucking idiot <laughs> isn't it amazing how like when you die they clean you up it's like no one can find the fat picture of her now it's just when she was young and beautiful she'll be beautiful forever now yeah. we didn't like her living till 79 because no. we had to deal with her when she wasn't beautiful yeah. look at marilyn monroe she must have been a pig at some point you oh she see, was you don't see one picture like that well she died in her she died young but 30 something yeah but she had a bit of fat on her she was getting a belly yeah, it was, and she, she couldn't hold it together she went out at the right time yeah. yeah look at elvis do you see the fat elvis no no Beautiful Elvis. <laughs> never see fat Elvis anymore. They're picking the the look for Michael Jackson now. We'll never see the guy who who morphed into a clown. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So what else did I do? I don't know. I was just busy, busy with all my technology. Well, I was thinking about and getting yelled at in the email. A camera. Oh. You've got me thinking, maybe I should take up photography. <laughs> you seem to uh, you seem to go wrong when you follow me because <laughs> <laughs> but which makes me nervous because then you blame me, but I think you should too. I think you'll like it. And I can give you some pointers on what to get. I wonder though, because I you, one of the things was I got into photography years ago when there was film, and I even nah, actually. Don't. Uh, you That's know, too complicated. Developed some of my pictures, had them framed, had them hanging in my house and stuff like that. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't want to be involved in that. Not that film. But then I had tons of film that I never, ever even got developed. Yeah, that film was a pain in the ass. Yeah. Remember you needed film to shoot indoors and film to shoot outdoors? Right. Remember that? Oh, absolutely. It was and annoying. then what was really awful about it was you could shoot all that crap and film was expensive.